Hello guys, welcome to Survival Russia. Sorry about the missing Saturday and Sunday videos, but my wife has been down with the flu. Nonetheless, I'm back, so uh, let's kick off the week here with a fast, empty rifle casing hack. So this hack here, or what you can call it, has quite a lot of history to it because I learned about it on my many trips to the old front lines of World War II out on the Eastern Front and uh, both German soldiers and Soviet soldiers use this uh, quite frequently. So let's take a look what we have here. We have a bottle of uh, cooking oil. This is some uh, cough medicine bottle but uh, we have some cooking oil. It's a little bit discolored because it's cold. Getting colder. Would you believe it or not? Then we have an empty or spent rifle casing. This is a 9.3 mm x 62. It's a civilian SVD round that we're gonna use for our little hack here. Then we have some wigging material for my winter foot wraps or Simni Pachanki. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to make a candle out of this uh, rifle casing here. I'm also gonna give you a little bit of a history about uh, what the, the Germans and the Soviets did on the World War II front lines. Normally the Soviet and German soldiers would take casings quite a bit larger than this because they would normally use the 37 mm or 45 mm anti-tank grenade casings. And I found many such casings squeezed on the top, even still with the wigging material in it and the wire around the casing so they could actually hang them in the trenches and so on. But we also found small rifle casings with wigging, wigging material and, uh, and, and steel wire around it, so it was also used uh, in emergencies or what you can say. I think everything was an emergency back then out there. But they also used the small uh, rifle casings, but uh, not so often of course. Basically they would take a big grenade shell and they would squeeze the top on the shoulder of the, of the casing. They would puncture a big hole so they could refill it from there. This you don't do with these. So let's uh, dig into it and I'll show you how it's done and how it works. I'm gonna open our cooking oil. I'll say you can, you can, you can most likely use all kinds of uh, available fats and oils for, for making this if need be. I guess if you have a can of tuna with oil you can use that. You can definitely make a candle out of a can of tuna. But uh, anyway, we're gonna fill in some, some oil here. Then we have our wigging material here. It's from my winter foot wraps. They're a little bit more heavy duty and fluffy than the summer foot wraps. I'll make a video on them at some point. You can help a little bit with a piece of grass straw. Yes, looks like this. Then we have this rarity here. It's a US made sock multi tool. <laughs> we will squeeze the, the top of the casing. See, just enough to hold the wick. Not much more than that. Then we're basically ready to go. So I'll take my lighter here. Then we have this pretty little candle burning. It will burn for quite a while. Let's put it over in the Survival Russia studio. As you can see, it sits over there and burns nicely. As I said, it will burn quite a while. It's just good to have a multi-tool or something that you can lift the wig a little bit now and then. As I said, you can use tuna can oil, cooking oil, diesel fuel, whatever kind of fuel actually. And the, the wigging material just regular cotton or whatever, the thicker the better. So with some of you out there uh, in active duty uh, somewhere where you are having uh, access to spent grenade shells and uh, sometimes uh, need of light, your old brothers of World War II used this method. It's a pretty pretty neat little hack I think. So yeah basically I just wanted to share this little uh, interesting piece of history hack for you guys and uh, say hello. I'm back. Can even warm your fingers a little bit, I can feel. I'll go to the hunting cabin uh, during the week or the weekend. I'll bring you guys with me, of course. Sub share, sub like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And check the links in the description. And until next time, get out and train and get it done. And see you next time right here in Russia. Thank you very much, guys. You're awesome.